Canyon has launched a brand new Speedmax CFR TT disc time trial bike, which it claims is 2.7 watts faster than the old rim brake version. So the brand new time trial bike has been launched today ahead of the Giro d'Italia starting this weekend. The first of the three Grand Tours. So a three week race around Italy and it features two time trials totaling 38 kilometers in distance, which isn't the longest if you compare it to previous editions of this race. But with any Grand Tour, the time trial is always crucial as we saw at the Tour of France last year in determining who wins the overall classification leader jersey. And for the riders in the hunt for the Malia Rosa, the iconic pink leader jersey of this race, the race against the clock could be crucial, although quite a lot of climbing as well. But I think the time trials will be a big focus of this race. So the new Speedmax CFR TT disc simply appears to be the old Speedmax with all the storage and nutrition compartments stripped away to meet the UCI rules and to save weight as well. If you look at this bike compared to the current triathlon version, you can see quite a few changes, most notably down by the bottom bracket in the elbow between the seat tube and the down tube, they've removed the storage compartment where a triathlon or Ironman rider could previously put a inner tube and CO2 canister to fix a flat out on a long triathlon course. But because the pro riders don't need to fix a flat tire in a short time trial, they have a support car following them with spare wheels or a spare bike they got rid of that feature as well. That change aside, the rest of the frame looks largely the same. Got a striking top tube profile, really fat fork blades flowing into a hinge style head tube and kinked rear stays as well. But the down tube and the head tube look a bit slimmer than that other bike, so maybe to save a bit of weight on this bike to meet UCI rules. This new bike has been developed by Canyon with Swissside, that well-known specialist in aerodynamic testing and development with their own line of wheels and claimed by Canyon to be their fastest ever time trial bike. The best time trial bike of its generation and really max out the use of rules on what is allowed. I must admit, I'm not the biggest fan of time trials or time trial bikes in the world. Although I do admire that singular focus on speed and aerodynamics above all else. But the use of rules, as we all know, have really held back, really stifled innovation in this category which is why most time trial bikes largely look the same. The biggest change on this bike really is the addition of disc brakes. Now we've all seen disc brakes become really popular on the normal road race bikes in the pro peloton with most teams now on disc brakes in 2021. But time trial bikes are kind of stuck in the dark ages because most are rim brakes, but we've seen a few brands now dabble with disc brakes. And despite the move to disc brakes on the new bike, Canyon is claiming this new bike is faster, it's more aero than its old bike with rim brakes by 2.7 watts. Although there's no actual aero data on that claim, no idea what speed that was tested at, what power output. So I can only offer their claims at face value, take it for what you want. So that's their claim, not mine. Be fascinating to see the aero testing data behind that claim for sure. But it really begs the question of whether a time trial bike really needs disc brakes at all. Now on a normal road bike, I'm a big fan of disc brakes, as I said in many videos before. More control, easier braking in all situations, more reliability. Yes, there are some downsides like occasional noise, uh, less adjustability perhaps, but generally I find them much easier to live with than rim brakes and just work much more nicely. And a weight penalty for me personally, isn't that big an issue. But I know some of you feel very differently around disc brakes versus rim brakes on road bikes. And most time trial bikes are using rim brakes because there's been a lot less development in time trial bikes. That's probably also reflected by the fact they probably sell a lot fewer time trial bikes compared to normal road bikes. But do you really need all that extra braking performance on a time trial bike, which is designed to go as fast as possible and brakes are only about slowing you down and you don't wanna slow down on a time trial bike, do you? Well, I think it depends on the course. A pan flat course, a drag strip course, put a bigger chain ring fit, you smash along at 500 watts or whatever you can manage, 60 kilometers an hour, higher speeds, and you go as fast as you can. But on a technical course, with bad weather, bad road surfaces, corners, descent, then their brakes can be an advantage to give you more control, 
to allow you to stop. And we have seen some quite high profile crashes on time trial courses on time trial bikes. And if you've ridden a modern time trial bike with the rim brakes integrated into the frame and fork with aero fairings, the braking performance is pretty woeful in my experience. Really there to slightly adjust your speed rather than give you any control to be able to stop when you want. Almost reminds me of old cyclocross bikes with cantilever brakes, which were pretty woeful as well. They merely adjust your speed, didn't actually stop you, give you that control to stop when you wanted to. So on a challenging time trial course, the disc brakes could be an advantage. Give you more control, more confidence to adjust your speed, go faster in the corners, brake later, carry more speed through the corners, could be an advantage on that sort of course. But the other big question is really, who is this bike aimed at? Now, of course, it's designed for the pros, to give the pro riders, the athletes, the company sponsors, the best equipment to do their best performance in the biggest races like the Giro and the Tour de France and to really advertise the company's products and their ability to provide the best equipment, whatever level you're at. Now, it doesn't take an expert to guess that Canyon probably sells a lot more ultimate and air road road bikes than it does the entire Speedmax lineup. I've no figures, but I bet the entire Speedmax sales as a figure is a tiny percentage compared to all the other road bikes and mountain bikes it sells across its company's range. So the question around why they've updated this new Speedmax with disc brakes, I guess comes down to bringing the bike into line with the rest of the bikes, with all the Canyon sponsored riders now using disc brakes solely. So it brings it into line with those bikes. So in terms of maintenance and looking after wheel sets, it's probably a bit easier. And it's also about giving the riders the best equipment, which according to Canyon, is a faster bike than its old rim brake version. And it's also the extra control and braking performance I mentioned earlier, which although probably not at the top of the litter priorities in a time trial, it's definitely a factor. So if you can give them the better braking performance without any compromise in terms of aero or weight, then it's a win-win really. But all eyes will be on Movistar and Alpestin when the race starts this weekend to see how to get on with the new bikes, see how they perform, see how they look, and see if they get any good results. So I'll be watching them very closely. Anyway, that's a quick news story on the brand new Speedmax CFR TT disc and my thoughts on the move to disc brakes and whether it's a good thing or not. Now, personally, as I said earlier, I'm not really a fan of time trial bikes or time trials themselves. Too much pain and suffering for my liking. But I do admire the tech on display here, that singular focus on aerodynamics and speed. But now we've got disc brakes and wireless gears and other interesting features. So an interesting move, be fascinating to see how to get on with the bike and how other bike brands respond. There's already indications that other bike brands are going down this route with disc brakes on a time trial bike. Whether you at home want a time trial bike like this at all. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. And if you enjoyed watching the video, hit the thumbs up, like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for watching.